Okay, black people, let's talk. Let's let's have a huddle. And I want to start off by saying that I am not sharing this information to make anyone feel stupid or to invalidate anybody's experience. In fact, quite the opposite. I believe that in this year, 2022, we are two years into a pandemic and I am sick and tired of black people not having the correct information about the things that are very important to their health. Because if there was a time for us to prioritize our health and well-being, it is now. So with love and light, here we go. We're debunking Dr. Sebi. So we're going to do this in steps. This will take a minute, but just keep, stay with me here. Stay with me. Because like I said, I want us to get through this. So for those of you who don't know who Dr. Sebi is, Dr. Sebi was a um, self-proclaimed doctor of herbal medicine. Um, he practiced out of Central America and had a lot of um, celebrities advocating for his practices. Most namely, um, Left Eye was actually, I think, down there visiting his practice when she passed. Um, he claimed that he cured Magic Johnson of his HIV. Um, and most recently, Nipsey Hussle, they say that the conspiracy behind Nipsey Hussle's murder was because he was creating a documentary on Dr. Sebi and um, the human donor himself, Nick Cannon, has said he's going to continue that, which is great. I think, you know, the information needs to be spread. However, Dr. Sebi's largest claims were that he cured HIV, that he could cure cancer, and that he could improve your overall health by putting people on an alkaline diet with these certain supplements. And I will say this, even a broken clock is right twice a day. That's not how that works. That's not how any of that works. Let's start with the number one thing that people say, which is that he was proven in court to have effectively cured HIV. That's not true. The court case that was filed was on a couple of charges, but namely it was practicing medicine without a license and prescribing medications without a license. And it is correct that he was found not guilty on the charge of practicing medicine without a license. But the reason for that was because Dr. Sebi was not actively diagnosing people. By the time people got to him, they already had their diagnoses from the realms of Western biomedicine. And so technically, within the scope of what the definition of practicing medicine is, he was not practicing medicine because he was not telling people this is what's wrong with you. 